So I'm finally doing this video many of you have requested. This is AMD Ryzen 3 vs Ryzen 5 vs Ryzen 7. What are the differences spec wise and most importantly in terms of performance? Let's take a look shall we? So right away let me tell you, the Ryzen 3 is a 4 core 4 thread CPU, while the smallest Ryzen 5 model features 4 cores as well, but has SMT, simultaneous multi-threading, therefore 8 threads. But there also are Ryzen 5s with 6 cores and 12 threads. The Ryzen 7 on the other hand comes with a whopping 8 cores, 16 threads thanks to SMT. And the rest are more or less minor differences in the amount of cache, clock speed and so on. What they all have in common is the unlocked multiplier, so each one of those processors can easily be overclocked. So let's bring those benchmarks in. Okay, now obviously there are very noticeable performance differences between the Ryzen 3, 5 and 7 models. In some aspects and games more, in some less. The best gaming CPUs of the Ryzen lineup in my opinion are the Ryzen 5 1600 and the Ryzen 7. However, if you're on a tight budget and plan on overclocking, the Ryzen 3 1200 is a fantastic gaming CPU, keeping up very well with those more expensive Ryzen chips. Of course, all the CPUs in my charts can be overclocked, but the Ryzen 3 1200 has a phenomenal price performance ratio. However, you'll only unleash its true power when overclocking it. Now I know, you don't need to tell me, I have a GPU bottleneck there with my GTX 1070 at those graphic settings. Yes, I know, and I will try to eliminate that issue in the very near future. FPS differences are still visible though, and proofs a Ryzen 3 runs very well with a GTX 1070 and anything that offers less performance. If you ask me, I personally would avoid the Ryzen 5 1400 at this point. Get the Ryzen 3 1200 instead, also no need to get the 1300X. It's only clocked a little higher, something you can easily do with the included stock cooler. The absolute sweet spot CPU right now simply has to be the Ryzen 5 1600 for now. It's great for gaming, video editing, rendering, streaming and all that kind of stuff. The Ryzen 7 only speeds things up even more. So one thing's certain, AMD did a really impressive job with Ryzen. It's not perfect, but a very strong comeback from AMD indeed. With this video I hopefully made your decision a little easier, should you have planned on going for one of these processors. And as always, thanks for watching.